Hello, I'm doing a test of this wrist blade gauntlet that I'm working on here. Um, I'm actually doing a bench test of this new wrist blade that I'm working on here for a client, this one down here. Actually, I'm making the mechanism for the client. The wrist blades themselves are not included in this deal. Kind of a, as a reminder here of my previous video, these are the wrist blades that I built using an old CD-ROM mechanism. Um, so they come out this fast. So, extend, retract, extend, retract, and that sort of thing. So anyway, here's the new version that I've been working on. I took the track from, a, from the old CD-ROM drive, actually two of them back, back to back, to back and recast them. Um, these here are the these here are the wrist plays that I make. These are just kind of a shop version because these the cast didn't come out right here, but that's not important. Anyway, so I took the track and recast that. Took one of the big gears from that mechanism and also recast that. Then a couple more gears here from the from the hobby shop and the motors back here. So this is roughly how it works. Now you might say with all these gears that I'm doing steampunk all of a sudden, but these have to be brass gears. Anyway, you know, it's hard for me to operate this camera in reverse here. Show you what these things can do and how fast they do them. Oops. <laughs> okay, let me actually hold on to the base plate here. Okay, so they'll shoot all the way out. I let them. Okay. They kind of caught on the on the this little bottom thing here. If you're using your own blades, then they shouldn't catch. You'll have to just mount, watch the way you mount these on the traveler block here. Anyway, here's how fast they extend, and here's how fast they retract. Kind of had to help them out in this example here. Okay, you know something? It's hard to work with this camera on a tripod and try to read the thing in reverse. And now I have something on the screen that says MF, whatever that means. Anyway, this little part here is the traveler that you mount the wrist blades onto. And then th these here are the wrist blades. You can tell here that this cache came out with all sorts of problems. That's why it's marked bad. This one also was bad because it didn't make some material right. So I won't be shipping these out, obviously. So the blades mount on this tra little traveler here. This block here is hmm, roughly 8 inches long or so. So that's about it.